Hello? Yeah. Yeah, Hello. I'm here. We we here. Tej, you here? Hey, bro, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one All second. Right. Okay. So I took my speaker. I, I had my phone hooked to my speaker. Hold on one second. No, nah, you're good, man. We we excited, man. Seriously. Yeah, I was telling her about what she was telling me, so we both excited to hear what happened. <laughs> so, what? I mean, when we first started, right? Uh huh. You told me five on leads. Right. It's an old lead that I had. So, I found out, I went through my notes. I mean, all the time you teach me, I was taking notes. Right. So, I followed up with an old lead. I went back through my notes. And the person never sold their property because they was asking for too much. Right. So I went back. I learned how to come up with a contract. That's what that's that. What I want, that's what I want to know. That's you got to explain all that to us. Don't just like because I did. I give you the contract, or did you have your own contract? No, I made my own contract for what you was telling me, what, what you taught me, for what you taught me. Right. So it was a contract that nobody gave me. This contract I would get off. I did off the numbers. They told me. You know what I'm saying. Uh-huh. It was a nothing that nobody gave me, no numbers. And I was confused at first about how to come up with a contract. Right. So I went to my notes. I took notes every time you were telling me stuff. I took mm-hmm. notes. I was taking awesome. detailed notes. Awesome. So I went back to, I went back and, and, and went, observed my notes. And understand by the contract part, you know what I'm saying, linking up with a title coming place, this and the other. So Tuesday, Tuesday, I go pick my check up. <laughs> so, okay. All right. I, that all sounds awesome, right? So let's go back to you following up on the lead. How did that go? Did you call them? Did you, how did you get in contact with them? How did you? To ask, I mean, get the house in the contract. Like, what offer did they want? What price did you put in the contract for? So I went back. Like I said, I'm going. I'm going back. I went back, and I still offered the same contract. It was definitely different. So the same price. But they, like, what, what, what was that price that you offered them? The first price offered. The first price offered. As I went through and did like the numbers wise. Uh-huh. It was uh they wanted uh let me get it right. They wanted like a hundred and twenty five thousand for the property. But the property for wasn't worth that, honestly. Right. But they knew they wasn't gonna get that. So I came back, like you said, I followed up. It's the old lead that I had. It's the old lead. Right. So what offers you? What price did you offer them, and they took it? I went off. Uh, I went off the um, the numbers that you gave me, like how you supposed to all get offer. All of them, it was like ninety five thousand. Okay. So how thousand. much? Is, how much did you sell to your buyer for? It was a uh, sell for the buyer for. It was uh. One hundred ten thousand, but Ooh, I went. I went on. I, what I did was okay. I did what you told me the numbers and the rehab, this that, and the other. Right. But the problem has been sitting there for a long time. This was the first problem. You remember the first video I did? Right, right, yeah, yeah. That was a so I went. I went back and followed up on that. That was good. You see what happens. So. Um, how much earnest money did the buyer put down in the title company? Did he put down any earnest money? No. No, he didn't put no He didn't put earnest money down in the title company. No. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Well, matter of fact, the guy hit me back up once I texted him the other day. He said, "Is the property still available?" He said, "Yes." So I said, it's still the same numbers that I sent you before. Off the, you talk, what you taught me, 
for the rehab, just you know what I'm saying, the rehab, whatever the case may be. Right. So the dude said, okay, he accepted it. It had been sitting for a long time. Right. So, okay, he said, well, I agreed to the offer, blah, blah, blah. So at the end of the day, I make about three grand. Three grand is good. Offer probably he, he, he was really selling for a ninety five thousand. Right. So the paperwork part though, how do you write up the contract? So what I did the contract it was okay. The contract I sent him was we agreed on the first offer I offered you was the idea of what you told me. Right. He said, okay. He signed the contract? Yeah, he signed it. Okay. So, so, I said, for, oh, the, so, for, the buy, so for the buyer, what contract did you send the buyer? The buyer said him was, it's, it's just, I ain't say distressed property, but it's a property, it's a good location, but you got to share a property with a former owner. This former owner is the only property behind it. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying, no, I'm saying the paperwork. What contract did you send to the buyer for him? Because, like, you know, you have to have a purchase agreement for the seller, and then you have to have an assignment agreement for the buyer. What contract did you send to the buyer? So what the contract I sent to the buyer was, like, it's it, as is, it's as is, and he's willing to sell, he's willing to agree to what the property is. So how much are you going to pay? How much you put on that paper for him to pay for the property? You say how much did I put on it? Yeah, for him to pay for the property. Since you got it for a price, you have to sell it to the buyer for a price. What price did you put on that paper, on that contract? The price I put on for the for the buyer. Mhm. Okay. The, the price I put for the buyer. Okay. I I, yeah. I said, oh. but I'm making sure you hear me. The price for the buyer. I told him the original asked for ninety five thousand, and the price with the rehab is the only thing. Of course, it is. We said okay. So once he agreed on it, with the price with the rehab, it's okay with it. So how much you charge him for the house? You charge him how much? A hundred thousand? Like how much? One ten. But listen, you should be making a little bit more money than three thousand. Then that's what I'm not understanding. Because if you got it for ninety five thousand and you sold it for one ten, you make that difference in between that. You know that, right? But see, I didn't know that part, bro. Yeah, yeah. So if you pay, if you got the house for ninety five thousand and you sold it for one ten, so subtract that. Get a calculator, subtract it, right? That's fifteen thousand dollars that you're going to make. Yeah, it's true. I know that, bro. Yeah, because that's, that's what I'm asking you. If you sold it for, if you got it for ninety five, but then you sold it for one ten, that's your fee in between that. Because you got it, you know what I'm saying? You got it for ninety five, and then you sold it to the buyer for one ten. So you got a contract saying ninety five, right? Yeah. And then you got a contract saying 110, right? Yeah. So you make that difference in between that. So you make $15,000. I got you, bro. Now, it makes sense. Yeah. So you who who who's closing the deal? What title company? What lawyer? Uh, Sean Lane. You need to call them and say, hey, you know, I'm sending you. Did you send the contract to them already? Yeah. Yeah. I so you need to call, huh? Oh, yeah. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. So you need to call them and say, hey, you know, I got the contract for 95, 
but I'm selling it so they can make sure. So I'm selling it to him for 110. So I make that difference between that. So I should get $15,000. You got to call him and make sure of that. Yes. So the so Monday morning, you need to call them and say, hey, I'm I'm the guy who got the contract. I'm the one who sent it to you. I got the contract for 95 from the seller, but I'm selling it to who whoever you're selling it to. I don't know who his name. I don't need to know. But whoever you're selling it to, you need to make sure he put money in the title company too to make sure he's going to close. Yeah, now I got you. you make sure. Yeah, so you, like when you when, once he signed the assignment agreement contract that's saying, hey, I'm gonna pay one ten. You need to say, hey, you need to send five thousand to whatever whatever you said that title company is. He need to send five thousand there. To, that means that locks that deal in. Oh, yeah, I you. you know what I mean, Mikey? You got to make sure you're getting the paperwork stuff done right too. You know what I mean? Right. So you got to make sure you got their contract. Huh? Go ahead, boss. No, I'm saying that's the part I struggle with because I didn't know that. Now I know that. You got, to, you got to call me. That's why I'm here. You know what I mean? So you you know you just you don't go by words. You don't go by people's words when it comes to this. You have to go by the paperwork. So you got to have the correct paperwork for the seller. So the seller need to sign a purchase agreement with you, saying hey that you're gonna give them ninety five thousand, and then it's an assignment agreement that you sign with the set the buyer. Saying that he's gonna pay one ten. Uh, so, do you have that paperwork in place? That's what I'm making sure. No, you have the right paperwork. You see that they agreed to pay me. Uh, I think it was. Uh, you're right. They they agreed to pay me. That's on uh, three thousand. Oh. Who is who's they? The 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 fucking uh the owner. Oh the owner. It's coming from the owner. This is the part I struggle with. Yeah, yeah, nah, but what I'm saying is the owner don't pay you, the t the buyer pay you. So what happens is, like I told you, if you, you know, if you got this house in the, how do you find a buyer to buy that? Who the buyer? It was, a, it was a private owner. Oh, it's a private owner who's going to buy this house. Yeah. And he buying it for one ten. Yeah. You're supposed to have a contract. That's what's happening. That's what messed up at. You're supposed to have a contract with the property owner at one at ninety five thousand, saying, hey. I'm going to pay you 95000 Do you have that? Yes. So he, the the property owner can't pay you nothing. He he, he don't have nothing. To, listen, you, 